Good evening. Hello, Ana Cristina. Hello, Daniel Enrique. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Giovanni. How are you doing? I find good. That's nice to hear. Good evening, Giovanni Ramirez. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Linda. Uh, she's still connecting. Hello, Linda. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay, it's eight and one minute. So we are gonna take the attendance because that's that's their requirement. Okay, we have to start at eight punctual. So we have to be punctual. Have to um we should start on time, right? Okay. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez, Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Presentation. Thank you, Ana Cristina. The thing is that this um, file moved. Okay, here it is. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Okay. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sánchez, María Elena Romero de Galvez, Nancy Beth Tobar Rivera, Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Okay. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales, Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas, Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón, Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego, present teacher, okay. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores, present teacher, thank you. Okay, people. Carla, Carla Veronica, I saw you there. And Juan Present. Carlos, right? Present. Okay. Present. Okay, good. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. There you are. Present. Okay, thank you. Now. 
Oh, Carlos Eduardo, you are there. I'm coming to check you in, okay? Present teacher. Okay. Okay, my dear students, tonight we have a very interesting um, topic because uh, we are usually doing that every day, every time. That's the um, way to communicate in these days because we are working um, in a remote work, right? We are working from home, so we use a lot the email, we use the texts. Uh, messages and we are always doing uh, video conferences, webinars, and everything is through the computer, right? Or through applications that we communicate. So it's very important for us uh, to learn how to express in those um, in those tools, because usually um, we have an idea how to do it, but it's important for us to order, right? All the steps, steps how to do the things correctly. So tonight we are going to uh, put in order those steps and also we are going to learn how to do it in English, okay? But to start, to start tonight, Vámonos a hacer el jueguito, ¿ok? Para recordar acerca de should and shouldn't. Ok, can anyone please tell me what was the topic from last night? What was the topic from last night? Go to your notes. Check. Ana Cristina. No, no entiendo la pregunta. Okay, what did we study last night? What was the topic? What did we study Six. yesterday? Night. We studied. Night. Uh, Hey, uh, okay, Ana Cristina, now wait just a little bit and Giovanni has an answer to share. Okay, Giovanni? We studied the use of in the show. Okay, we studied the use, how to use should and shouldn't, right? Okay, let's see, Carlos Eduardo. When do we use should or shouldn't? With advice, with a um, recommendation, no, advert, advice. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, recommendations uh, is okay too. Okay, as a the, suggestion. Suggestions, thank you, Silvio. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. uh, pro, pro, Prohibitions. It's a previous. Okay, sí, yes. prohibitions. Okay, there you are. So when we want to say something about the behavior of someone in our workplaces, cuando nosotros queremos decir algo acerca del carácter o del comportamiento de alguien, ¿verdad? si es apropiado, si no es apropiado el uh, comportamiento, okay, utilizamos este verbo modal, ¿verdad? que nos ayuda para dar... Eh, una idea de um, consejo, de guía, ¿verdad? De eh, su, uh, sugerencia. Uh, this express like an obligation, ¿verdad? Expresa cierto tipo de obligación porque está escrito o porque por costumbre las cosas se hacen así. Pero existe otra palabra para decir obligaciones y deberes. Entonces, esta es como un poquito más suave. Should es como un poquito más suave y deja la opción 
a que la persona se salga del guacal, ¿verdad? Y siga con su, o diga, o, o justifique su acción, right? They justify their actions. Uh, but uh, should, should is a word that we are going to use to express suggestions, direct suggestions, for example, with the rules, right? Carlos Alberto yesterday said that they should not wear rings or necklaces or earrings in the area where he works. There are other kind of measures that can be expressed by should too. Okay, now that we remember, ahora que ya recordamos, Let's remember the structure. Let's remember the structure. What is the structure to say a sentence? To say a sentence using should or using shouldn't. Okay, I want to hear you guys. The structure, grammar structure. A show close a verb form, verb based form. Okay. Excellent. So we say the subject first, okay, the subject, then should or shouldn't, plus the verb and the base form. We are talking about the main verb, the main verb. El verbo principal va a ir en su forma base, okay? Should or shouldn't plus the main verb in the base form. Then after that, we can add everything we want to say. Everything, anything, okay? For example, we could say, you should, okay? What's the subject? You, then should. The verb in the base form is be, okay? Be, you should be on time. You should be on time. Ah, quiere decir esto que usted tiene que estar a tiempo, okay? Tú deberías estar a tiempo, okay? It's like an advice or a suggestion, right? And for example, you have um, maybe something else to do at the same time, then you could or couldn't make it, then you are going to say, uh, someone is going to tell you, hey, you should be on time, okay? Para no perderte el tema, right? So now we are going to start the game. Let's go to the Google search, everyone. You have to write joinmyquiz.com, right? Joinmyquiz.com. Go over there, please. And the code, I'm going to write it down. Go to the chat on Zoom and there is the code 940900, 940900, 9409000. Okay, you may go through the link too. You may go through the link. Okay. 
You got it? Are you in? Yes. Okay, thank you. But I can't see you. Okay, todos. En el Google search o pueden ir a través del link que les puse ahí en el chat. Lo voy a volver a escribir. En, el, en la búsqueda de Google, ustedes pueden escribir Join my quiz, quiz.com. Okay. Don't see you guys. And then the code is nine four zero nine zero zero ready si ¿Sí pudieron entrar necesito que me confirmen porque no veo que ninguno esté entrando eh, yes teacher yes teacher yes teacher yes teacher yes teacher yes teacher okay Son 11 participantes, teacher. Okay, for some reason, this is not showing it to me. I don't know what's going on because it says waiting for the participants to join. Good evening, yes, the game, the game. Go to the chat, go to the chat and Zoom and there is the code. Tiene que ir a la búsqueda de Google, poner joinmyquiz.com y le va a pedir el código y ahí está el código. 940900. Ok. For some reason, this is not counting you here. But we're going to stay. Uy. What happened? Yes, for some reason this is not working. Okay, let me go for this link again. Maybe I can get it. And it says for students. Bueno, ustedes todos están adentro. ¿Verdad? Me dice que hay 11. Ustedes me acaban de decir que habían 11 participantes. El asunto es que cuando yo le doy iniciar, me dice que no tengo eh, participantes en inscritos. Eh, ha de ser una situación, algún glitch ahí en, en la internet. Entonces, voy a dar a actualizar a esa página y espero no perder ese código. Si pierdo ese código, ok, yo les paso el nuevo, ok. Teacher, estoy en otro problema. Yo estoy desde mi teléfono celular y cuando entro a este link me saca de Zoom. 
Yo preferiría que me lo mandara al chat que tenemos en WhatsApp, que lo tengo en otro teléfono. No sé si se podría. Ok, pero sí, está bien. Pero ahorita lo que quiero ver primero es si los puedo recuperar a ustedes dando refrescar a la... A la oh, sí, refrescar. Y de, si se pierde ese código, yo les envío el nuevo. Ok. No, lo que sí fue al quiz, ¿verdad? Para entrar al quiz. Exacto. Ajá. Sí, cuando entro al quiz, el Zoom me lo cierra. Es decir, de que yo salgo de la... Aquí, de, 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 no puedo estar en las dos cosas en el mismo teléfono. A ver. Ok, comprendo. Entonces le voy a pasar al WhatsApp la, la otra informa, la información del nuevo, si fuera que me diera otro código, ¿ok? okay y bueno. ahorita voy a intentar a, a pasar... Déjenme ubicar que los pueda ver a todos en el juego. Ok. Gracias. Ok. Good, 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 good. It's the same, it's the same. Okay. Now I can see you guys. I can see you. So now I'm going to send the information through the WhatsApp group because it's the same. Oh, it says phone not connected. Here we are. Okay, and now here. Here it goes. Okay, there it is, Daniel. Through WhatsApp. Okay. Okay, now I have 15 from 15 participants and let's start. One, two, and three, we go. Teacher, ¿podría brindarme el código? Yes, sure, no problem. It's in the WhatsApp group, too. Okay. Teacher. Tell me. Y yo no lo encuentro. What is cold, teacher? Frío. Ah. I'm cold. Tengo frío.
Hello, Astrid. Astrid, go please to the uh, Google search. Yes. Hello. Hola. Hello. Hola, teacher. Estamos jugando ahorita. Veo que no ha ingresado al juego. ¿A dónde puede encontrar el link? En el grupo de WhatsApp. Ay, el teléfono se me arruinó. Pude entrar por el correo electrónico. Se me arruinó la pantalla. Ok. Ahorita lo envío nuevamente por el, por el Zoom. Okay. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Solo que hay un problema es que aquí por mi sector empieza a llover mucho por cualquier cosa. Okay, okay. Good, Linda. Good, Carlos. Let's see you finished. Uh, let's see. I don't know if Silvio ha has finished. Giovanni, good. Juan Carlos, good. There you go, Rachel. Good. Uh huh. You're getting an eighty percent at this moment. Go ahead. Go go. You may do it. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you like the game for those who finished? Was it easier today? Estaba más fácil ahora? Algunas palabras que tengo anotadas ahí que me, se me fueron por eso, pero sí estaba más fácil. Okay, good. Teacher, we are playing a game. Excuse me? We are playing a game, teacher. No, no, no. 
We are not, we are waiting for those who didn't finish yet. No, ahorita está, ah, you want to play again? Is that the question? Giovanni. Tell me the game. Do you want to play again? That's that's yes. the question. Yes. Ah, okay, yes. okay. Well, we are not going to play again tonight, uh, but maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Si se portan bien. Okay. <laughs> this is very nice. This is very nice to practice, guys. Okay, let's see. Then I have two or three of you that, that are still playing so one thing at the time yeah i have some people still playing there let's see there you go good uh-huh i see nancy tried into into devices maybe right nancy how are you doing nancy La sacó del sistema. Sí, pero volví a ingresar. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> no problem, okay. Let's see. Astrid, how are you doing? She's thinking, thinking, thinking. Ana Cristina, how was the game? ¿Cómo estaba el juego? Más difícil lo sentí hoy. No, but it was the same one. Era el mismo de ayer. The thing is that it, it, el sistema los revuelve y les da otro orden. Eso fue todo. <laughs> el orden fue diferente, but uh, it was the same. It was the same. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Just let me see something else here. Oh, guys, we are go. Oh, no, we're falling down here. We are in 77 and we were in 80%. Go, go, go. You can do it. Those, those who are still playing, please think, think, think again. Think again. Here we go. Almost, almost done. Maria Elena, did you? Yeah, I can see you here, but. There you are, you're playing. Okay, good. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I see that you are playing. Yeah. Okay, go, go, go ahead. Did you finish already? Yeah, I, my score is 93%. 93 okay. Great, great. Yeah, I can see that here. Yeah, nice. Okay, people. We have only Nancy and Astrid, right? Only you guys are still playing. We're almost done, we're almost done. Go, go. Juan Carlos, did you like it? I like it. Okay, nice, nice. Kevin Antonio, were you nervous? Nervous. Se puso nervioso. No. Okay, did you like it? 
Okay, nice, nice. Okay, people, I see that everybody uh, enjoyed the game and it's very interesting when we practice in this active thing, right? Just remember that when we use should, first we have a subject and the modal verb should then or shouldn't, the base form of the main verb and then a complement uh, for that uh, sentence, okay? Nancy, ¿se trabó su sistema nuevamente? Sí, se me se se volvió acá. a trabar, ¿verdad? Ahorita ya volvió. Ok. Ok, okay. I, I'm very sorry for those who had problems with the connection tonight because of the rain, pero tenemos que continuar, ¿verdad? Eh, lo vamos a jugar mañana, vaya. I promise, I promise. We are going to play tomorrow, but you have to be on time, pero si okay. tienen que estar a tiempo para que lo podamos hacer, porque ya ven que lleva tiempo conectarse, ¿verdad? Ok, guys, we are going to start tonight with our video conference. So let me go to the slides for you to see what is the objective for today and what is the topic for today. The topic for today is steps to write a formal email. Steps to write a formal email. This is the video conference number 13. Today is July the 21st of 2021 and this is our agenda the feedback came yeah we did it and we enjoyed it now let me present the class objective and then after that we're going to start with the briefing okay this is the objective for today you will be able to prepare write and articulate short professional emails for business purposes. Students will be able to prepare, write and articulate short professional emails for business purposes. Purposes. Then, oh my God. Yeah, it was really a thunder. Okay, let's go to our manuals because in our manuals we have something that we didn't do yesterday and now after the game we have this fresher, right? Lo tenemos más fresco, así que vamos a nuestro manual. Vamos a finalizar primero. We are going to finish first the activity que nos quedó pendiente, okay? The last activity from yesterday. Do you remember we had to read the scenarios? Okay. These are three scenarios. Oh, these are three scenarios. And we have to give a suggestion or to give advice, right? So here it says provide a suggestion about the next situations at work. Let's see the example. Let's look at the example. Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never says please. Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never says please. Let's see the example, how to give a suggestion in that scenario. Veamos y cómo vamos a dar una sugerencia en caso que sucediera eso, ¿verdad? En nuestro lugar de trabajo, que tenemos un supervisor que solo anda dando órdenes, ¿verdad? Y que nunca dice por favor, right? Peter should ask polite requests. Peter should ask polite requests. Another way to say this is, Peter should say please when he asks 
for something. Peter should say please when he asks for something. Okay, guys, let's read the next scenario. It says, when Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. Okay, when Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. Su reacción de Carl es gritar. Okay, shout out, shout. He shouts. What recommendation or what suggestion can we write over there in that scenario? Car should not shout. Uh huh. Carl shouldn't or should not. Uh -huh. Shout. When he is hungry. Good, when he is, or gets hung hungry, I'm sorry, angry. When he is angry, not hungry, it's angry, <laughs> okay? When he is angry, okay. Here we are. ¿Alguien tiene alguna otra forma de hacerlo? ¿O alguna otra idea? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Uh, Carl should mm -hmm. control himself. Okay, should control himself. Okay, there you are. Alguien con otra idea? In calm. Carl. She. Should. Should. Uh huh. Keep calm. Good. Keep calm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep calm when things are not as he expects, right? Okay, good. Now let's see the next scenario. The next scenario, it says, my assistant never uses a salutation in her emails. My assistant never uses a salutation in her emails. Uh-huh. Provide with a suggestion in that scenario. Mm -hmm. Annie? She, she, she shorts. Mm -hmm. should, yeah. should, um, um, no teacher, no. The verb in the base form. So, um, Help everyone, anyone? Right. 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 Good manner. Right. Oh, more polite. Again, uh, because someone said right, and others said uh, mm, be more polite. But in this case, let's use the verb that we have in the case. For example, his, they say never uses, right? So she should use, mm -hmm. 
a salutation in her emails, right? Okay, now let's use your other idea about write, right? She should write, uh-huh. She should write. Attended. Your, your email. Emails, uh-huh. She should write emails. You seem polite. Okay, but this salutation means um, we're going to see it later. But as for example, you have to say ben. good morning or ben. good afternoon, ben. Mr. Fulano, right? Mm -hmm. She should write emails with a proper salutation, right? For example. Okay, now, you said something else, but I can't remember. Someone said something, let me see. You said something about more polite. Oh, okay, we could say that, Carlos Eduardo, because you said be more polite, right? So we could say she should use, uh-huh, uh, should, yeah use more polite language. Okay, then when we're talking about the, the salutation also, right? Like showing respect or some things like that, right? So let's go to the next scenario. Next scenario. Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She loves. Um, no, she laughs. Esa está, está mala esa palabra. Laughs. Laughs. The correct word in, instead of loud is laughs. Okay. Se ríe, ¿verdad? A carcajada. She laughs very loudly. Una gran boya para reírse, right? Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She laughs very loudly. Okay, what's the suggestion in this scenario? Astrid? Maria Elena? Linda? Um, she shouldn't laugh very lowly. Okay, she shouldn't laugh very loudly. Okay, another yeah. idea? Maybe she should have better behavior. Okay, she should Okay, good. Teacher, uh -huh. she me. should be considered with other. Okay, she should be considered uh -huh. we, with oh, her co workers. Okay. Ok, ahora, esto es dando como una sugerencia, hablando con otro. Ahora, si a usted la, lo mandaran a decirle a esa persona, okay, 
si a usted le tocara ir a decirle a esa persona que corrija ese, ese comportamiento, to correct that behavior, ¿cómo lo diríamos? Lucy. Lucy, quiet. <laughs> oh, oh, Lucy shouldn't love very loudly. Ok. Ayer vimos algo bien bonito en la, en la conversación. ¿Se acuerdan que hasta pues el, había que actuarlo, verdad? Porque pues sí, cuando uno está hablando de otra persona hasta, hasta hace así, ¿verdad? para que no le oigan y está diciendo algo y se aparece. Ah, oh, no, ok. We were not talking about you. Okay. Something like that. But, um, aquí podríamos hacer exactly una actuación parecida, right? Like, Lucy, please. Lucy, please, you shouldn't laugh very loudly, okay? You should stay quiet, okay? You should laugh quietly, right? Si a ustedes lo mandaran a decirle a Lucy. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y ahí, pu ahí, pudier ahí pudiéramos usar también el could you please loud soldier. Yes, of course. Of course you can use that. Pero ya eso ya sería así como más de orden, ¿verdad? Ya no sería así como, hey, hombre, vea, hey, calmate, right? Uh, in this case, okay. like, uh -huh, you, you are saying, oh, Lucy, could you please be quiet? <laughs> right? Es como más directo. Okay saying hey callate right it's not it's not so polite as if you say you shouldn't right you shouldn't it's like uh lucy could you please be quiet right <laughs> something like that okay shut up lucy shut oh up. my god <laughs> then they are going to correct your behavior because it's not polite to say something hey yeah close your mouth <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna say the word right now. Okay, there you are. So this is the way, and we finished that topic, but we are going to use it later, okay? Just let me erase this and let's continue here in the manual because we have a conversation that it's very funny, but it's kind of important to know or to learn um, how to write an email, okay? First of all, first of all, do you send emails every day? Do you send emails every day? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Three tips to write effective emails. ¿O les ha pasado, por ejemplo, que ustedes envían un email y no causa el impacto que nosotros necesitamos o no recibimos la respuesta que deseamos? Ok, so now, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Para que no pase eso, tres eh, cosas que ustedes hacen para que ese email esté correctamente hecho y sea efectivo. The subject. Ok. Uh, what about the subject? You mark the is very important or the the emoji or uh, I don't know the yeah emoji in, is in okay. my case in, in my case in Outlook I eh, tiene un botoncito de importancia entonces uh, yeah. se, se marca ese and the subject is the the very very clear okay the, the the necessary okay for example do you write uh, important in the subject. Escriben esa palabra, important in the subject. When it's necessary and in... Maybe... Urgente. Uh, Urgent. Maybe an interesting topic. Okay, okay. Yeah, someone, something that they are expecting for. Yeah, you're right, Carlos Eduardo. But yes, you can flag the, the email as important with marking it in the tool, right? But also you have to take care about the subject. Okay, yeah, and it is important. So now let's see, what do you think? 
Cuando ustedes reciben un email y es largo, ¿se detienen a leerlo todo? Do you read all the email? Imagine that is four or five paragraphs of six lines each. Oh my God, right? Do you read it? <laughs> In the pen on? <laughs> is that director or the C-level? <laughs> I read it. <laughs> los, de inglés, los de inglés corporativos son así. <laughs> Because it has information uh, that we have to remark, and they are always in. Um, o sea, las mismas um, cosas se dicen, se mantienen todos los emails para remarcar, ¿verdad? Pero no es que el mensaje sea solo eso, ¿verdad? O, o todo eso. Normalmente el mensaje está arriba, right? Y todo lo demás es como información constante, right? Que debemos tener presente. So, but do you read long emails? Not usually, right? Not usually. Mm, I think they are kind of boring, right? If you start reading a lot, y con un montón de palabras, ¿verdad? Que para decir una cosa, uf, usaron todo el párrafo. So, it's not so good to receive a long message, right? But let's see, here in this exercise, number two, we have to check, we have to check, which tips for writing formal emails do you follow, okay? Formal emails, hagamos la diferencia, because, porque existe una forma, o sea, una formalidad y hay, existe informalidad de mensaje, ¿verdad? Something formal is professional, is in the business. Uh, between uh, me and my client, for example, it has to be formal, right? Uh, maybe from me to another department, okay, from my department to another department, it has to be formal because it's business that we are treating here. Uh, but if I am just writing uh, to my colleague, then it could be kind of informal. It depends. It depends on the uh, subject, right? It depends on the subject or, or it depends on the matter in, in, lo que, in, in la situación, ¿verdad? Que estamos queriendo decir. So let's continue and let's see. These are tips that could be used or not. So let's check which ones do you use, okay? Chequemos ahí cuáles sí usamos and which ones we don't do. Y los que no estamos haciendo, okay? So number one, do not use all capitals. Do not use all capitals. Do you use all capitals? No. Okay, then check it, right? Do not, so check it. Avoid using the subject important. Avoid using the subject important. No. Do you do that? So you, you write important? No, teacher. Okay, si no escribe importante, entonces eh, lo marca. Pero si sí escribe ahorita, todavía en este momento, importante, la palabra importante en el sujeto, eh, eh, perdón, en el tema. Eh, así que hay, ese no lo marca. Okay. Use a formal salutation. Use a formal salutation. Do you use formal salutations? Yes. Yes. Okay, check it. Yes. yes. Are you brief? Be brief. Are you brief? Yes. Short, okay. Succinct, right? Succinct, right? Succinct. Conciso, right? Express clearly why you are writing. Express clearly why you are writing. Do you express clearly why the reason of your writing? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Do not use abbreviations. Do not use abbreviations. Do you use abbreviations? No. No? Okay. No. This is for formal emails. Cuando, por ejemplo, en los mensajes de texto, ahora usamos muchas eh, 
shorts, ¿verdad? Muchas abreviaturas. Eh, <ríe> lo que hacen los jóvenes, los jóvenes, porque, pues sí, nosotros somos jóvenes, ¿verdad? Eh, TQM, right? En español. TQM, ah, those kind of things. Or, for example, in English, we say ASAP, as soon as possible, right? ASAP, or maybe para despedirse, en vez de poner best regards, ponen uh, kisses and hugs, but like XOXO, right? So, so, right? So, do you use that in your formal emails? No. No, right, so no. check it. Okay. Do not use smileys. Smileys, the, 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 the emojis, right? The emojis. So to, do not use smileys. Do you use smileys in your formal emails? Maybe for your boss? No. No. <laughs> Caritas felices, besitos, mwah, no? Kisses? No? Okay, good. So check it. Now let's see this conversation because it's very important for us. Okay, it's very important for us to talk about the uh, how to write an email. So let's read this. If you know, then read. It says practice this conversation with a partner. I'm going to read it first. And then we are going to take turns talking about the tips you checked in exercise two. So, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay. Again, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, I want to hear now Linda and Carla, please. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes. Is appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it's professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sure, we're going to say. Okay, now, what are we going to do? You are going to the breakout rooms, okay? You are going to the breakout rooms and let's practice this conversation. But after you practice this model, van a hacer un diálogo solo hablando, no es necesario que lo escriban, okay? Solo siguiendo, leyendo este para dar los siguientes tips, okay? Para hablar de los siguientes tips. For example, is it appropriate to use smileys, right, in business emails? Yeah, just uh, substituting information, okay? Do you get what are we going to do? Do you get what we're going to do? Yes? Or do you have questions? ¿Tienen preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer? No, teacher. Ok, thank you. Teacher. Tell me. Tongue and sleep. Oh, ok, thank you. Yes, you're right, you're right. Okay, let's take the attendance. Thank you very much, Carlos Eduardo. So let's start with the attendance list here. Today is Wednesday the 21st. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. 
Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Sí. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Betova Rivera. Present teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ok, Suleima, thank you. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. I remembered. Okay. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. There you are, Ana Delmi. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Bless you. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortez Flores. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. So now we are going to create the, the rooms. Uh, let's see, we are 18, so nine, there you go. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. You received the invitation? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. I'll problem. <laughs> okay, go ahead, no problem. Um, okay, voy a empezar ya. Do you often send emails? Yes. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, it's not pronoun. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yes. Okay, ahora empieza usted. Do 
yung Apropiate. Eso, eso está bien. Apropiate como. Perdón. Apropiado. Ajá. Yusu al capital. Ok. Ok. Esa sería como la, la tercera. ¿verdad? Y, y si. Apropiate. Un poquito. Do you set. Eh, Ahí. Al, al capital. capital. Capitals in email. The email. Bajamos entonces. Y usted ahí me responde o le respondo yo. Ahí podemos decir no it isn't not professional. professional. Y, y, Could you hear more tips there? What if it... All capitals in business email. Okay. Again, okay. uh, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use smileys in business emails? No, it isn't professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. For example, you don't use all capital in business email. Okay. okay. I do. It is appropriate to use smiles and capital business me. No. It is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Oi, Chains. Okay. Um, do you often send emails?
Okay, my dear people. Right now we are going to practice your conversations. I want to hear you and everyone here wants to hear you. So let's see, Karina and your partner, please. Okay, um, with Ana Herrera. Okay. Um, do you often send emails? Um, yes, I do. It is appropriate to use all capitals in business emails. Mm, no, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. So Okay, thank you very much. Now let's see Carlos. Eduardo, please, with your partner. Uh, Carlos with Carlos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use smiles and capitals in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Now let's see. <clears throat> we had uh, Daniel Enrique, please, with your partner. Okay, teacher. Permítanme voy a meter el libro que me sacó. Okay, my partner is Kevin. Okay, go yes. ahead. Okay. Uh, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use emoji in business email? No, it not it is an, is perdón, not professional. I see. Cool. Do you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Now, let's see, guys. Uh, let's continue with our manuals because there we have some more things to do. Just let me see something else before going. There we are. Okay, here we are. And now let's go to read, okay? We're going to read the tips to write a formal email and classify the emails below as formal or informal. Let's read the 10 tips we have in that box. En ese cuadro tenemos 10 eh, pasos, right? Or steps or tips how to write a formal email. So let's see number one. Number one. Carlos Eduardo, please read number one. Filling the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important. Okay, thank you very much. Number two, Kevin Antonio, please. Including a polite, polite solution. So, salutation. Salutation. A G, dear Mr. Uh, dear Miss, good morning. Excellent. Okay, in this case, and this number two, EG means for example, okay? Esas dos letritas, E punto, G punto, 
we read it for example. Cuando las encontremos y al leerlas en voz alta, vamos a decir for example. Ah, cool. Okay. okay. Now, include a polite salutation. For example, dear mister, dear miss, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, etc. etc. We're not going to use, how are you doing, right? That's when we uh, connect, we just connect and we start our class. I said always, uh, hey guys, how are you? How are you doing? We're not gonna say that, okay? We could say hello, mister. We could say hello, uh, miss. Podríamos usar hello porque es algo universal, but it depends on the relation with that person in that job position, okay? So the best is that we say, dear mister, dear miss, okay? Esta, este título, MS, that we have here, ¿ya lo han escuchado antes? Miss, miss. Miss. Um, uh -huh. We use this title when we don't know if the woman is married or is unmarried, or maybe she's divorced, right? We don't know. We don't know the civil status, so, or the marriage status. In this case, I'm sorry, in this case, um, we use miss, para estar seguros y confiados que no hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? De tratar a esa persona, a esa mujer, con ese título, porque si le ponemos Miss, M-I-S-S, -S, right? O le ponemos Misses, podríamos cometer como eh, por la sensibilidad, ¿verdad? Que existe ahora, eh, que si es casada, que si no es casada, que, que, que soy señorita, que, right? Ay, pero yo soy señora, right? Ay, but I am a Miss, right? No, we use Miss, Miss. It is M-S. Okay. Uh, we could use Mr. And what about the academic titles? What about the academic titles? ¿Y qué tal con los eh, títulos académicos? Okay, sí, es importante. Y son los más comunes, los utilizamos. Si no, in English, people don't get offended. Okay, la gente no se ofende que no le digan licenciado, or professor, right, or uh, medical, or PhD, or MD, or whatever. They don't get offended. Um, así que podemos utilizar dear mister, dear miss. Ahora, también en, las, en el saludo, ¿verdad? Podemos también poner ahí el, uh, la job position, o la, ¿cómo se llama? La posición laboral, ¿ok? O el nombre del de puesto que ocupa, o el cargo que ocupa. For example, I could say, dear Mr., Miss, um, dear Miss Herrera, right? Uh, human Resources Manager, right? We can just add a comma and say the job title. Number three, let's read number three. Is it raining there? Well, here it, it, it was starting to rain, but it didn't continue. It stopped. Pero si me escuchan bien. Yes. Okay. Es que alguien escribió que está lloviendo y creo que tiene problemas. Right? La okay. lámina. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Let's read number three, please, Nancy. Ok. Read your main point in the Write your main point in the opening sentence. Thank you, Nancy. Right. No, yes, it's right, right, okay. okay. Yeah, sure. right is with a pen, right? Escribir es con un lápiz, right? Pero podríamos poner type, okay? Type, type in, 
your main point in the opening sentence. Number four, number four. Annie, please. Don't use or capital or all lower case letters. Okay. What do you feel when you read a message in capital letters? What do you feel when you are reading that? It's, uh, uh... <laughs> Excuse me? Molesta, come on, molest, molest. Okay, uh -huh. uh, it's not um, comfortable. Hungry, molest. Angry, yeah, as if the person is angry. Okay, as if they are shouting out, right? As if they are shouting out, like uh, with a very loud voice, right? Loudly, very loudly. So yeah, you feel that. What do you feel if you see everything in lowercase letters? Lowercase letters, solo en minúsculas. Lowercase Letters son letras minúsculas. Lowercase. It's, it's not important. <laughs> that is not important? Okay. Well, it could be a sense. Uh -huh. What do you feel when you read uh, that message all in lowercase letters, Karina? I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. What do you feel I when you feel read a message like this? Because it's, uh, it's strange because the, the cell phone write the, the first letter with a capital. Yeah. Uh, when I see um, a lower case letter, it's strange. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. It could be also that I can think that the person doesn't know how to use the capitals, right? With the proper names and uh, nouns or maybe places, they don't know about the rules of spelling, right? So that's kind of weird as Karina says. Okay, number five. Number five, please, Raquel. Avoid. Abbreviation AG. For example. For example, P T L S Z. Please. Please. Perdón. Please. Okay. Yes. We are not going to use also jargon or we are not going to use uh, abbreviations like this one's in formal emails like saying please, or if we write, for example, THXS, right, to say thanks, uh, we use the complete word, the full word. Number six, number six. Let's see, Alejandra, hello, please, number six, could you please read it? Hello, teacher. Hello. People. Before late, remember to write please and thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Be polite. Let's use could, let's use should, let's use would to request, right? To request. We have to be polite. We have to show respect when we are writing. We use good manners in our writing. Number seven. Uh, Daniel Enrique, please, number seven. Okay. Be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Okay, what do you think about that, Annie? What do you think about being brief? Sorry, teacher. What do you think? ¿Qué puede decirnos acerca del número siete? <coughs> Be brief. Brief. Short. Attachment, no recuerdo qué significa, teacher. Adjuntar un documento, mm, okay. o okay. una foto, or something. A file. Mm -hmm. 
Ay, en inglés no sé cómo contestar. Ok, let's try, let's try, let's give a try. Mm. Be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Si considero si es, tiene, el mensaje tiene que ser largo, dice, ¿verdad? Yeah, yes, something like that. Mm. Um. Ay. Yes. When oh. you receive an email, when you receive an email, mm -hmm. do you like long emails or do you like do you like short emails? Uh, short. Short, email. right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Because mm -hmm. of the time, right? Sometimes we don't have enough time to stay reading a long paragraph or a long thing. Uh, just to say one thing, you use more words. So be brief. Go to the point, straight to the point. Number eight, use a closing phrase like best regards, regards, looking forward to your comments, etc. Estas son frases que se utilizan al final de la, eh, del mensaje formal, formal. Ahora, eh, nosotros, por ejemplo, decimos en español, ¿verdad? Sinceramente o en espera de su respuesta o... Um, saludos cordiales. Saludos cordiales. Ok. Saludos cordiales. Ok, atentamente. Saludos cordiales means best regards. Ok. Best regards. Best regards. Ajá. Uh -huh. O solamente regards. Saludos. Right? Regards. Regards. But best regards. Hmm. Uh, you can say also sincerely. Sincerely. Okay. Podemos utilizar otras palabras como your sincerely y siempre es formal. Okay. Your sincerely no es una cosa romántica como nosotros estamos acostumbrados en español, ¿verdad? Nosotros decimos your sincerely es como tuyo, right? Something like that. But no, here is like you are at the, uh, the person service. Que usted se coloca como al servicio de la persona, right? Your sincerely. Uh, you can say also looking forward. Looking forward is that you are expecting that you don't wait for the person continue doing something or continue the action that you are requesting, right? Or you need a reply, then you are looking forward to that reply. Now, number nine. Number nine. Uh, please, Suleyma, read it. And singly look with appropriation contact information, your name, business address, and phone number. Okay, thank you very much. At the end, we uh, block a signature, right? Uh, for example, we could write our names, our job title, right? And the department that we belong to, or uh, what are we accountable to in the company? And then we write a contact number, right? A contact phone number. Okay, if you are writing out, uh, out from the company, I mean, it goes for a client, it goes for a, a government dependence, uh, don't know, so a, a government office, something like that then you are not going just to write a phone number. You can write also your another contact address, a general thing, the extensions. So you have to be clear where they can contact you in that signature. So number 10, number 10. Before the message, Thank you very much, Carla. Now we see edit and proofread before you send the message. What does this meaning here? What is the meaning of this? Edit and proofread before you send the message. Les ha pasado que cuando envían un mensaje, ah, se me olvidó juntar. Ay, no le puse tal cosa. Ah, se me fue sin las tildes. 
oh my God, ¿qué va a decir? Ay, mejor lo, ¿cómo lo regreso, right? So you think twice. Ajá. Uh -huh. O por ejemplo, no, pues... dedo. Ajá, Carlita. Error de dedo. Yeah, with typos. With typos. So, in that case, it's necessary that we prove read. Edit and prove read. Double check. Double check that everything is in order to send a correct email and you don't have any problems. So those are the tips and the steps to write a formal email. Now let's see these two emails that we have here. Let's read these two emails. Which one of those are formal? I mean, is formal and which one of those is informal? The first is informal. And the second is formal. Do you think so? Okay, let's see number one. Karina, please read uh, the first uh, example, the first email. Okay. To peter at mail.com, subject Saturday. Um, remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the thing. See you. Okay, good. Uh, let's see the next one. Can you read the next one, please, Annie? This one. Robert uh, at mail.com to get tomorrow's meeting. Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with ID, don't forget the com documents. Okay, then, and do they have, or do they show a, a, an appropriate salutation, a formal salutation? Which one of those? None, right? No, informal. None. So let's see, um, what else can we say here? Does any of them have a, a closing phrase? A closing phrase and a signature? Do they? No, right? None of them. En este caso, estos dos ejemplos son informales. ¿Verdad que no cumplen todo lo de arriba? No. No, I'm right? Informal. They are both informal. So check and formal. Now let's see. Let's see one that is formal. Okay. Let me go there. I'm going to stop sharing. And let's see one that it is formal. I'm gonna stop because it didn't give me the box. Now I think it is going good. Good, good, good. Here we are, here we go. Advanced. Okay, here it is. Let's, uh, let's look at this example. Here we are. I'm going to read it first and then I'm going to ask some of you to read. 
to read, okay? First, to A. Vasquez that rh at toolsdepot.net. Subject, certification request. Dear Ms. Vasquez, in order to complete a list of requirements for a bank loan, I'd like to request a detailed proof of salary letter. I'm informed this process lasts three business days. Could you please send it by email in a digital format too? I shall send it in advance to the bank's legal department. Looking forward to your reply, respectfully, Robert Finley, Operations Management. Okay? Let's see. Ahora ustedes díganme los tips. Encontremos si cumple todos los pasos que acabamos de leer o por lo menos su mayoría y me dicen si es formal o es informal. Is this formal or is it informal? Yeah. It's formal. Okay, it's formal. Now, tell me, please, the elements that makes you see or identify that this is a formal email. Number mm -hmm. two, teacher. Be Include uh, a polite salutation. Okay. Salutation. Good. What else? Be brief. It's brief. Okay. Include a closing Adid. phrase. Adid signature. Okay, it has a signature. Mm -hmm. No, you said a capital. Okay, it's not all in capitals. Okay. Capitals. Mm -hmm. Capital, thank you. Yeah, okay. And it's not all in lowercase, right? Uh, lowercase letters. It has the proper thing, capital and lowercase, and the proper spelling, right? Mm -hmm. Does it have a closing phrase? What about the subject? Good, excellent answer. <laughs> yeah, you didn't understand, guys, because he's speaking English too. <laughs> okay, the baby is speaking in English. Did you understand? Okay, certification request. Is that a good subject? Yes. Okay, yeah, because uh, when they receive the mail when the mail goes to the inbox then she's going to see exactly the the main purpose of this email right okay and does it use polite language does it use polite language yes use cold use should okay Formal language, right? Formal language. And in the first paragraph or in the first, let's say sentence, uh, we have the main subject, okay? We have the main subject, what we are requesting. Okay, now, could you please read this um, email, Suleyma? Uh, certification requires Request. Dear, Miss, request. Dear Mr. Basket, in order to complete a list of requirements for a bank 
long I like to get a delight from or on salary letter. In for me, this process last three weeks. But died. Could you please send it email in the digital form to? I should send it the advance to the bank legal department. Looking to you reply respect to fee. Mm -hmm. Robert, respectfully, mm -hmm. respectfully, Robert, feeling operation, manager operation. Okay, operations management, management. Okay, maybe he's not the manager, right? Maybe he's not ah, the okay. manager. 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 Management. Management. Okay, there you are. Thank you. So, guys, now we are going to take two minutes and let's think about a subject. Pensemos en un, um, en un, en una situación que nosotros, o en una solicitud que nosotros queramos hacer. Pensemos ahorita un tema. Okay. Everybody thinking about a topic or suggest, I'm sorry, a subject or um, a theme what we want to request. Now that we decided our topic or our subject, tomemos un tiempo para redactar un párrafo usando polite requests. Usemos could, usemos would you mind, usemos, uh, ya ahora ya sabemos usar I'd like to, okay, porque ya lo vimos antes, I'd like to, pueden usar eso. That's polite, okay, language. Everybody writing that in this moment.
Okay, people, what are we going to do now is van a su email, okay? Van a su email y hacen así como hice yo, okay? You click and compose, then click and redactar, right? And there you are going to write. Okay, allí ustedes hacen como que lo van a enviar. Luego le toman un screenshot y lo envían al grupo de WhatsApp. Okay. Su email que ustedes enviarían con el tema que ustedes escojan, siempre siguiendo todos los pasos para escribir un email formal. Okay, guys. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, I want to see quién ya me lo envió. Okay, it's five to ten. Ustedes si siguen trabajando en eso y lo envían, ok? Lo envían. Tienen ahorita todavía cinco minutos, pero mientras eso voy a tomar la asistencia, ok? Para ir finalizando. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ok. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Alberto, are you there? I saw you. Okay, he got disconnected. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Carla Verónica Suria Present. López. Thank you, Karina. Carla Verónica Suria López. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Sing. Carla. Oh, okay. Thank you, Carla. Chris. Thank you. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Ivette Tova Rivera. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Thank you, Nancy. Present. Thank you, Raquel. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Okay. Juan, Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. 
Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. He got disconnected too. Present teacher. Oh, there It's you are. Raining. Okay. Yeah, I see, I see. Did okay, you know guys. Who? No? Oh, Kevin Antonio. Yes. Let me see, let me see. Kevin, I'm going to say Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sanchez. There you are. Present. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good. Okay, people, do you have any question about the topic for uh, from today? Related to what we learned? Alguna pregunta? Any question? No questions? The homework is to green screen and send to... To the WhatsApp to... group. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Como si lo fueran a enviar, se le dan ahí the screenshot. Now, let me see because I have that. Today's turn for the session one on one is for Astrid. Is Astrid in? Astrid? Yes, teacher. Okay, today is your turn for the session one on one. Are you staying? Si se va a quedar? Ahora le toca. Sí, sí, yes. Okay. Okay, yes, done. Good. Mm -hmm. Remember to go to the simple, right? To the basics, writing sentences, subject, the verb, and the complement. Okay? Un párrafo está compuesto de varias oraciones. Vámonos a lo simple. Lo simple es oración por oración. Construir oración por oración. Sentence by sentence. Okay, there we have the first one. Daniel, you are Mr. You are not Mrs. Okay. It was a typo. It was a typo. So you didn't edit and proofread. Okay, siempre tiene que revisar y editar. Okay. Okay. Let's see, Chris. Azul, eh? Good. Okay, Ana Cristina, thank you for sending. Uh, solo le falta ahí a quién le está dirigiendo el, el email. Okay, solo puso el saludo y no dice a quién. Okay, can you help me with the talking to be able to use my bank account? Okay. Like with the key, with the key account. Can you tell me the requirement? I need to get it, please. I will be pending to your answer. Sincerely, okay. There you are.
near Mazda. This one's for Lema. Good. Okay. As a manner of feedback, como una manera así general de feedback, acuerdo a lo que acabo de ver de los que ya enviaron, eh, siempre es de utilizar el vocabulario que ya conocen y que dominan. En este caso, el lenguaje que dominamos hasta ahorita lleva nada más hasta el tiempo pasado, pasado simple, ¿ok? Podemos usar presente en todas sus formas, podemos usar también eh, la voz pasiva, ¿verdad? Con el to be y el pasado participio. Podemos usar algunas eh, formas eh, en el pasado simple, incluso podemos hacer preguntas, pero lo más importante es que usemos esos tiempos verbales con un lenguaje polite, con un lenguaje eh, formal, educado, amable. Educado en este caso sería pedir como las cosas por favor y diciendo gracias, usando could, would, should. ¿Ok? Ok, okay guys. Teacher. Thank you very much for uh, connecting tonight. And we are off the clock now, so let us meet tomorrow. Okay, have a good night. Good okay. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. There you are. Astrid stays. Good. Hello, teacher. Hello, Astrid. Now we are just you and me. I was just reading the WhatsApp examples that you sent. They are very interesting. How are you doing, Astrid? How do you do? Do you have questions? Uh, yes, yes. And they should, should not, it should, should. Should, should. Uh -huh. yes, should and shouldn't. Uh -huh. Okay, what at the moment you, uh, what is your question exactly about that? Example in the question in the quiz. Uh huh, okay. Uh -huh. Like, do you remember anyone? I mean, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you remember any of them? This year I am. Había una que decía I am. Let's see. Uh -huh. Tenemos una de Darío, una de Lucy. Ajá, uh -huh. de Darío. De Lo que no entiende es cómo aplicarlo en una oración. Ah, ok. Ahora envié un video. ¿Vio el video ese? Dicho es que desde ayer me quedé sin celular desde oh. la mañanita. Y... Ok, ok. Es que para partir, para ver de dónde parto, porque el tema eh, sí, es, es bastante amplio. Entonces, ahora en este caso quizás le voy a explicar eh, la estructura, ¿verdad? La estructura. Porque el, cuando usamos should o shouldn't, lo usamos para dar sugerencias, para dar un consejo, 
o para normar un comportamiento, ¿verdad? Porque dentro de la compañía nosotros tenemos comportamientos que son correctos y comportamientos que no son correctos. Entonces, when we use should in the affirmative, in the affirmative sentences, uh, estamos dando mm -hmm. una sugerencia directa, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Que todos seguimos. Por ejemplo, you should you, uh, wear your uniform. Okay, you should wear your uniform. Es como una norma, ¿verdad? Es como una regla que todos tenemos que usar el uniforme. Okay, uh, for example, si nosotros queremos corregir algo que no está bien, por ejemplo, eh, yo no llevé el uniforme, ¿verdad? Yo no llevé el uniforme. So, you shouldn't, you shouldn't go to work or come to work without your uniform, without wearing your uniform, ¿ok? Es como corregir ese comportamiento que no está correcto. Entonces, damos un consejo o eh, estamos dando una sugerencia. Vale. Ahorita vamos a ir al manual para que usted mire ahí algunos ejemplos, ¿ok? Y veamos la estructura. Let's see the structure. Okay, let me see, let me see. Let's go to page number 32. Okay, page 32. Let me go. Mm -hmm. And page 32, we have a uh, a box with this explanation that I was saying, but now we are going to see the structure. Okay. Mi miremos el primer ejemplo. The first example. It says, the guard should answer my good morning greeting. The guard should answer my good morning greeting. Mm -hmm. Nosotros esperamos que un guardia le salude, ¿verdad? O, re, o responda el saludo. O alguien que está en la puerta tiene que saludar, right? So, the guard should answer my good morning greeting. Veamos entonces, which one is the subject? What's the subject there? ¿Cuál es el sujeto? El, 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 the guard. The guard. The guard. Uh -huh. the guard. The guard. Okay. The guard. Ahora que sigue. Ahí es donde utilizamos should. Después del sujeto viene should. Okay. Should. Should. After should, should. we use the verb and the base form. Aquí no le vamos a poner to answer, no le vamos a poner answering, le vamos a poner el verbo en su forma base. The guard should answer my good morning greeting. El complemento, pues todo lo que usted quiera decir, ¿verdad? Hey. Aquí en este caso está aquí. Yeah. Ese sería nuestro complement. My good morning greeting. Ahora veamos eso aquí abajo. Eso que acabamos de decir es lo que dice aquí. In this blue box, it says, use should plus, ¿cuál forma del verbo? El verbo base, answer. Exactly. Okay. The base form of the verb plus any complement phrase to express a direct suggestion. Okay, for example, si yo le dijera a usted, uh, usted me dice, mire, es que no pude estar en la clase. Okay, you should watch the video. Okay, you should watch uh -huh. the video to catch up, right? Para ponerse al día, to catch up. So that's a direct suggestion. You should watch the video from last night. Okay. Que uh, utilice? Example. Should you should watch. Mm -hmm. You should use pencil on 
success. Good. Mm -hmm. Correct. You are giving the advice or giving a direct suggestion? Yes. Okay. Now let's use this in the negative form, Astrid. In the negative uh -huh. form, es la misma estructura, solo que va a corregir algo que no es apropiado. Sería... You si quiere, leamos el, el primer ejemplo para que se ubique. Okay. Darío should not use many emojis in his em emails. Should not use. Okay. Estamos uh -huh. corrigiendo porque Darío le mete mil emojis <laughs> al email, uh -huh. right? So we could say Darío should not use many emojis in his emails. Ahora, do you think you can give me an example? Uh, sería um, el, el, el primero sería el yo, yo el, el sujeto, ¿verdad? Yes. You, puede mm -hmm. ser you. Yes, of course. You should not use, not use pencil on the text. text. Okay, okay. You shouldn't use pencil. Should and, ah, okay. pencil. It, on the test, but la brevi, uh, perdón, la contracción de should not es shouldn't, okay, shouldn't. Aquí shouldn't. estamos viendo should not como mucho énfasis, ¿verdad? Should not. Um, podemos decir yeah. should not mm -hmm. o podemos decir shouldn't. Shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Ah, la estructura del negativo solo, solo agregándole shouldn't. Exactly, solo agregándole not. Uh -huh. Siempre el mismo verbo. Exactly, Base. exactly. Uh -huh. Ah, hoy sí. Ok. Is there no. anything else that I can help you with? Is it ok? Yes, teacher, yes, teacher. Ok, do you have any other question? Y la anterior era la de... El could you y el you, you, could you mean? Would you mind? Would you mind? Uh -huh. Ok, aquí lo tenemos, mire. Here it is. Entonces, veamos how to use could you and would you mind? How to use that? We are going to use that, okay, to ask polite requests. Use could and would you mind to ask polite requests. En este caso, would you mind es una frase completa, okay? Would you mind mm -hmm. es una frase completa que tiene el sentido de eh, hacer una solicitud o pedirle a alguien que haga algo, pero de una manera extremadamente amablemente, ¿ok? So, use could and would you mind to ask polite requests. Veamos el ejemplo. The example, the first one is a little conversation. It's only one question and the, and the reaction. And it says, could you call me later? Could you call me later? Right? And then the answer is, sure. No le, voy, no le voy a decir, oh, yes, I could. Mm -mm. No es esa la manera de responder. La manera es una reacción. Like saying, oh, yes, okay, no problem. Sure. Right? Mm -hmm. Sure, no problem. Or not a problem. Right away. Si me están diciendo, for example, in the second, they say, could you make 10 copies? of this paper right away, okay? No hay problema, lo va a hacer ahorita, en su momento lo va a hacer. Could you contact mm. the tech support? En la siguiente es, could you contact the tech support? No problem. Yo le digo a usted, por ejemplo, se me arruinó la impresora, okay? My printer is not working, okay? My printer is not working. Then I tell you, 
ask you the favor you uh, that I need you to call the tech support. So I say, could you contact the tech support? Okay. Mm -hmm. Y usted me responde. ¿Cómo me responde? No problem. No problem. Right? Y llama. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Y llama al departamento para que vengan a ver la impresora. Okay, so could you contact the tech support? No problem. Ahora, en un no nivel, problem. en un nivel más, eh, <clears throat> más polite que could, okay, utilizaríamos would you mind? Would you mind? Si se fija aquí en could, mm -hmm. usamos el verbo en su forma base, ¿verdad? Could you call? Could uh -huh. you make? Could you contact? Pero ya sí. cuando usamos, okay. would you mind? Ya es con ing. Después de mind, escribimos ing. ing. Would you mind calling the plant manager? Imagine you have a problem in the plant and uh, someone is not doing the job correctly, then you tell someone, would you mind calling the plant manager? O llego de visita a ese lugar, right? Y alguien me atiende, entonces yo le digo, would you mind calling the plant manager? Porque a ese vengo yo a buscar, ¿verdad? The plant manager. So, would you mind calling the plant manager? Right away. Esa es la reacción, claro, sí, en este momentito. Bien. Yeah. The next example, would you mind getting, si se fija, ING, would you mind getting Mm -hmm. An appointment with HR for me. Would you mind getting an appointment with the HR for me? In a minute. In a minute. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. In a moment, it's another, right? So we can use that uh, kind of reactions to reply to these uh, questions or requests. Okay. ¿Cree que me puede dar un ejemplo? Claro, igual. ¿Mm? Um, could, you, could, you, could you start computer? Ok, excelente. Mm -hmm. Excelente. Now, using would you mind? Uh, would you mind... Um, would you mind... Calling, no, would you mind uh, contact the support? Support. Okay, acordemos cuando usamos mind, tenemos que usar ing verb form. Would you mind? Ah, would you mind? Uh -huh. con, con tan, uh, contacting. Contacting. Uh, would you mind contacting? And the support. The tech support. Okay, good. Good. Yes. Uh -huh. Always remember that would you mind ing verb form. Could es con un verbo base. Okay. Y el complemento de la frase. ¿verdad? Yes, and the complement. Eso es lo que dice acá estos eh, cuadros celestes. Usted lo puede completar. Lo lee bien bien ahí. Start a request with could you follow by y hace la estructura. La estructura la puede escribir por acá sobre su manual, ¿verdad? Para que no se le, para que se acostumbre el cerebro, porque a veces el cerebro se le pierde el orden, el, el orden sí, sí. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Is it ok? Are we ok yes, here? Yes. Ok. Is there any other question you want to ask? No, no. Okay, yes. Astrid. Okay, Astrid, it has been my pleasure to attend, I mean, to oh, assist you with ayer. this. Yeah, I Pero see. Pero se, uh -huh. se me arregló el teléfono y mi bebé se me enfermó y oh, ya no I'm pude. so sorry to hear that. Is, is your baby okay now? Dos añitos. Oh, okay, but is he better now? Ya está mejor. No sé qué. 
Sí, 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 sí. Ay, bendito Dios. Ok. Y es que no, 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 no desayuno bien. Y cuando, y como yo trabajo y me la cuidan, y ya oh. cuando yo vi en el almuerzo ya estaba toda de ganadosa. Ok, ya. Yeah. Sí. Wow, I'm so sí. sorry for that. Yeah. Ok, then, Ay, gracias. Astrid, um, uh, I'm glad to assist you with this answer. So let us meet tomorrow. Ok. Have yes, a good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.